Local Spotlight tonight, Russ Philbeck said he was given a choice back in the 1950s. After getting into some trouble, the Mount Vernon Sheriff gave him a choice. Boys Reform School or the Good Samaritan Boys Ranch. Well, Russ thought good sounded better than reform, so he became one of the first few residents of the ranch, and now he's returning to the ranch to pass down a unique skill. Photojournalist Tim Limecooler shares his story. I'm happy with being called a woodworker, but I, I really do an awful lot of chair making. When I make uh, special chairs for, for President Carter or for here at the Boys Ranch, uh, I usually have laser engraving done uh, so that uh, it makes the chair uh, commemorative. Started with the Boys Ranch when I was a 14 year old kid. And like all these boys that's here now, I was in trouble. Only if you've lived in their shoes do you fully understand what it's like with abuse, broken promises, and all the anger and the rage that gets buried because of that. So yes, I talk to the boys to let them know that they can do something about that because the boys ranch is a safe place for them and they may never have another safe place like this the rest of their life. Very cool that he's giving back there. Yeah.